Okay, here's my pickups for today. Everything you see in front of you, I'm not really sure what I paid for. I think it was like 39 or something like that. Uh, I'll go through it, uh, add it up, maybe do the math, maybe uh, fix it later. Um, bought some clothes, five bucks, nothing. Okay, nothing there. Then I got some uh, toll trays. These are like uh, con more contemporary Russian ones, but they are kind of nice. Um, as you can see, it's like a pear and grape design. Uh, they're signed by an artist who, it doesn't really matter who, who it is. And on the back, they've got some kind of like... Uh, Mark, well, let me see what it's. Uh, whatever. Um, and I got a larger one, but for six dollars, since Thanksgiving is coming, they're nice. They're hand painted. They're told are actually in very good condition. Uh, that seventy-five sticker cent sticker came off of somewhere else. I don't know because I, I I paid three a piece for these. Um, there's the same mark in the other one. A little bit of wear, not bad. Um, since the holidays are coming out, I'm gonna take those right out and sell them. In terms of games, this is the only game I found today, and I did pay three dollars for it. Disc is really clean though, and I think this is like an eight to ten dollar game for me. A um, couple of CDs, uh, they were fifty cents a piece, so I just went for it. Charlie Rose Live and Bruce Hornsby in the range. Um, got these three small boxes. Uh, this one's pretty cool, uh, made in China, but it is like an enamel frog, and see his mouth opens. See, uh, it's pretty cool. It has a magnetic thing. Um, for two dollars, I don't know. We like frogs. Even if I get five, that's fine. Um, this is older, but not really old. Uh, made in China, and it's just a cl little cloisonné enamel uh, cover box. As you can see, it's pretty nice. Again, two dollars, and I paid three for five, so they were like two dollars. This one is a bone one, probably cow bone, and I guess this is like a, a Middle Eastern painted design. Um, I still thought it was cute. You know, somebody could give, uh, put a ring or something in there. Uh, those three for five. This was probably a quarter. It's just a Lego um, Infinity and Beyond guy. I forgot his name. Um, jewelry. Let me go through the jewelry real quick. Miscellaneous pieces. I don't believe we paid more than two dollars for anything. This is just a nice uh, mother of pearl and uh, I guess it's seed pearl or whatever necklace. Um, we wouldn't sell it for a lot. These feel like stone and it's just a wrap around bangle. And this one looks like turquoise and turquoise chips, and it looks like a, another uh, wraparound bangle. Um, and I think we paid like $2 a piece for this stuff, and we can probably get 8 or 10 for these. And here's just another stone necklace, which we probably paid $2 again, too. Um, this pin, I believe, was a dollar, and it's kind of a Monet-looking pin. We'll probably get like 5 for that, or 8. Uh, Close in a bangle, we'll probably get like 3 to 5 for that. Um, this is just um, a chain probably paid a dollar and we'll probably sell it maybe we paid two and we'll I think we paid two for that and we'll probably sell it for uh, six to eight or, or something like that uh, this is kind of nice uh, wrap around uh, black or uh, aurora borealis glass probably paid two and I will probably sell it for eight um, this pen's kind of nice and I think it has some age probably from the 40s and it's an enamel and metal uh, pin and again I believe we paid either a dollar or two dollars for it and I'm not going to get rich off of it, but we probably get 8 to 10. Um, these are probably the most valuable pieces of uh, jewelry that I got today. And these are um, wedding cake. It's Murano glass wedding cake. I think these, unless somebody remade them, uh, these probably go back to about the 60s or, or some, somewhere in that time frame, maybe 70s. And um, you see a lot of the wedding cake necklaces and stuff on eBay and the bracelets. So I can put these on eBay and I can maybe get 20 from them, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check on that. Um, and then the last thing we got was this pin, and it's a, like a rhinestone bird pin. Uh, it's Pell, which it says on the back, uh, which you shouldn't be able to read. But uh, And that I think we'll get 6 to 8 for. Um, probably the most valuable thing I got today. Well, let me show you uh, some Murano glass. I got two pieces of Murano glass. This is like a nice paperweight bowl. Um, vintage, has age. You can see the wear on the bottom. And kind of an am amorphous uh, type of design on the outside. Uh, most likely this was an ashtray or just for paper clips or candy or something like that. Someone says, I only paid a dollar for this. And honestly, I wouldn't pay much more. I might pay up to five or something like this because while it's interesting and nice and I don't see any damage, it's it's not special. Um, it doesn't have a lot of... of uh, fantastic workmanship into it and uh, even the colors kind of like kind of brown you know um, this bowl is much nicer and uh, this one I paid 10 for um, they had it for 15 and I was gonna pay 15 but I heard somebody else say uh, oh would you take less and I said yeah we can give discounts and I said okay if they give discounts then I'm gonna ask on this well there was 15 I actually paid 10 and uh, the bottom of the bowl is is what's really nice 
Um, there's this is I believe this is called well I know it's a latticino uh, swirl and uh, this is kind of a, a banded design you know so it's green with white latticino and uh, then it has like another kind of uh, maybe orin uh, that kind of gold fleck stuff in there and you can see there's there's something of a Murano label there and um, the edges are flat and polished so this this bowl is really nice now. Um, you can see over here where they polished it down, there's like a, a popped bubble, and there's a cane over there. Um, but this bowl is really nice. Stuff like this on eBay, if I can attribute it to someone, this is probably like a $7,500 $100 bowl. At the flea markets, I'd be lucky to get twenty to thirty-five dollars for it. If I was doing a city market, maybe I'd get 50 or 60 or something like that. And then they have a gold fleck top, which they applied uh, rather sloppily, I think, uh, to uh, this clear lid and while it doesn't look like maybe it could go together um, it fits really well so I imagine it, it just has to be made for the, uh, each other but this this of course is the piece at the bottom piece is what makes this bowl interesting and worth anything um, so anyway like I said this if I can attribute this to some to somebody on eBay I think I can probably get uh, anywhere from 50 to probably hundreds for it and I had another bowl um, I remember I, I think I mentioned it was a Dino Martins bowl and that one I put on eBay for like 90 and I didn't expect it to sell and I did get one offer and uh, somebody offered me 45 but I was like screw that crap I could sell at a flea market for like 45 so why, why on earth would they think what I pay for the shipping and, and the extra work to do it and when it didn't sell I decided just to stick it in my eBay store uh, since it's Dino Martins and ask like 300 or 250 or something like that and and i'll negotiate down from there um but yep that covers everything that i got today